The sensor can be mounted with or without the included bracket and hardware. If you're using the bracket, we simply attach the bracket using the included hardware to the four screws on the inside of the back of the sensor. Alternatively, the TU5300 and 5400 can be directly mounted to a vertical surface using the four outer holes. In this case, we need to knock out the little protective barrier to gain access to these four holes. Mount the bracket to the back of the TU-53 or 5400 using the screws included with the bracket. Tighten them down manually with just a Phillips screwdriver. It's just that easy. If the optional flow sensor is being used, you will not need the two additional tubing clips. In this particular video, we'll demonstrate not using the flow meter, which will be included in a subsequent video. So we'll go ahead and install the two additional tubing clips to route the tubing for the instrument. Just tighten down those screws. And we're done. If you happen to be replacing an existing 1720E or filter track 660 process turbidimeter, it's very easy to replace with the 5400 because the two mounting bolts are exactly the same from the previous instruments to the new mounting brackets, 10 and 3 quarters inches apart. To start the process, turn off power and disconnect the existing instrumentation from the controller. If you're not replacing an existing instrument, simply mount two bolts 10 and 3 quarters inches apart and make sure that they're level. The process instrument's mounting bracket will simply slip over the mounting bolts and using the screwdriver, we can tighten them to make sure that the bracket and the instrument is firmly attached to the vertical surface. This is a great opportunity to install the desiccant cartridge to keep humidity from causing any problems with the sensor. It simply slides into place and the tube can be connected to the quick connect right there on the side of the pump. Then we can close the door and go ahead and tighten the two screws in place.